you know, you've been in the adult industry for a long time and I have too. And there's been like huge changes in the way that, you know, the mainstream quote unquote, which is generally like the straight side of porn that like kind of most people know about has been trying to embrace diversity. And there's been a lot more like trans um, scenes coming out, performers working with trans people. So how have you seen the adult industry change in the time that you've been in and, and how are trans performers treated now? Is it better? Is it um, kind of the same, but different? Like, how do you see the changes that have happened? So I see, I see a lot of changes happening. You know, I'm, I'm really happy that performers now are having the freedom to sleep with who they sleep with behind closed doors on camera now. I'm happy to see that people are taking that, you know, and, and not having shame to perform with trans performers. Like, I'm here for that. At the same time as well, it's very performative at the same time. You know what I mean? I know people like that work with trans, but then at the same time, they don't never associate or hang out with the trans person or check for their well-being or something like that. It's like, it's, it's, they, they think of it as only work. And, you know, us as trans people, we are people outside of work. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We don't want to be taken advantage of just for you to get the clout that you're working with a trans person when you really don't mm-hmm. even like trans people. And that's what a lot I'm seeing. And it's very frustrating to me. I don't want to say any names, but there's a female performer out there and she played this thing that she's an ally and she's like going to, she was play the knight in shining armor, but at the end of the day, she was a traitor. Like she ended up going back and saying everything that we say, we were talking about in confidence to the people. And, and then I see her doing trans scenes as well. Like, and I'm just like, it's so performative at the same time. Like, and I don't know what's worse, to be honest. I don't know if it's if it's worse being ostracized and, and having people sleep with you behind closed doors or having people sleep with you for their own advantage, which is, I mean, you, I guess you take the lesser of the two evils. So, so like, I mean, I'm... Kind of like for clout, you know, because, you right. know, now we're, we're seeing this, you know, like performers doing their firsts, right? So it's like mm-hmm. first boy, girl, first anal scene. It was like first IR. And then it's like first mm-hmm. trans scene. Trans. Like you guys are yeah. some kind of like hurdle to overcome or some next step in like their, you know, ladder to success or something like that. And a lot of it is what also has to do with the whole HIV thing. Like there's mm-hmm. a stigma on trans performers that you know we have hiv and we spread hiv and and we get tested just as much as the cisgender performer so like it's funny because people will put people on a no list for working with us which i don't understand the meaning behind it like you know i have a test that's 24 hours you have a test that's 24 hours you have a test that's 24 hours yeah like there's no difference at all and the that's what also we have a lot in our industry like you see the opening but there's also that like people put people on a no list because they work with trans performers and like a lot of trans performers that i i mean a lot of guys and people that i've worked with now but it's been their first time they've gotten a lot of shit for it and like oh you know you're working with those trans now like you know and, and i really admire them for taking that step because it's those people that lead an example mm-hmm. and not do it just because, you know, they want to be on the website, on the splash page with the, with the press release that they did work with trans, you know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.